Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Just wanted to make a little quick tutorial on how to set up uh, name servers on Linux manually and permanently. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I've been getting a lot of comments and direct emails from students and many viewers from my uh, proxy chains and DNS videos where I, I actually used the Etsy uh, resolve.configuration file to, to change the name servers. And of course, a lot has changed since I recorded that video. Uh, in my case, the system uh, that I was using, uh, the uh, the resolve.conf file was actually static, as you know. And then with the advent of system D and the, uh, the adoption of system V, you know that that is now automatically generated and controlled by the network manager service under system D. All right, so given that that file is now automatically generated, uh, there's a lot of you have been asking me because the file gets uh, overwritten every time you reboot, how to set up the, you know, uh, custom name servers manually. So uh, I'm currently running Kali Linux because most of the students who are asking these questions are using Kali Linux, but this will work on any Linux distribution that you're using. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna run you through a few scenarios that you can actually use or set up um, if, you want to, if you actually want to use custom name servers. So first of all, the easiest way of doing this is to set up your custom name servers in your router or your access point. Now, this is much better because all devices on your network will actually be, be using the, those name server settings as opposed to setting, the, setting them up manually. Now, of course, if you're running uh, your, your network in an, uh, or you're trying to do this on an enterprise network and you have custom name servers uh, that you actually want to point various computers to, that could be useful uh, or this video could be useful there. So. Um, you can do that through your router, but many of you have actually pointed out that your ISPs have locked your router uh, or have locked your, your the administration panel and you're not able to do that manually. So you actually want to use, uh, you want to set them manually on your on your various systems or hosts, in this case, Kali Linux. All right, so if I just display my resolve.conf file, um, you can see that it tells me that this is being generated by the network manager. That's of course system D and it points the name server to my access point uh, or my router by default. In my case, I already have my, uh, my access point uh, customized to point to custom name servers like Cloudflare and, and a few others uh, that I've set up personally. Uh, and in, in this particular case, there, there are various ways of handling it. Now, if you're running this, uh, if you're running your operating system with a graphical user interface, like for example, XFCE on Kali, as I'm doing right now, you, uh, it usually comes with a network manager applet, all right? So if I click on the network manager applet right over here, I can go to edit connection details, and uh, it'll now display all my, my connections based on their type. So we have ethernet, and then we have various uh, types of connections on the ethernet, and then we have the wireless network. So in my case, I want to click on wired connection one, and I can click on the cog there, and it's going to open up the settings regarding the connectivity and various uh, various options regarding IPv4 and IPv6. We're mostly concerned with IPv4, so we're going to click on that. And then you can see right over here, I'm currently using DHCP. Uh, I'm using DHCP to assign IP addresses. That's perfectly fine with me. And then, of course, I specify the additional DNS servers here. All right. Now, this can also be changed within the, the interfaces file under the Etsy directory, which I'll show you in a second. So you can paste in or add in your custom dns servers here uh, please ensure that you add a primary secondary and a, a third uh, name server in case one of them fails because that's how it actually goes through them so in my case i'm not doing it through the network manager applet uh, the reason i'm making this video is to show you how to do it manually in the event you don't have a network manager applet so uh, as you read from the title of the video, we're going to be using ResolveConf. Um, now, the reason we're using Resolve, uh, sorry, uh, res yes, we're using ResolveConf. The reason we're using ResolveConf is to e easily set them manually, and it offers us a, a better way of managing the service. And it'll actually be quite simple to set up the various name servers that you want. So what we can do first is um, we can actually install the ResolveConf service. Uh, it usually does not come pre-installed on Debian. I'm not really sure, but uh, you guys can actually try it out. I'm currently running this on Kali, so I'll say apt install and we'll say ResolveConf, right? And I'm gonna hit enter and yeah, I don't have it installed, so that's a good thing. And it should automatically detect that we're running systemd and create the sim link. There we are. So you can see it creates the sim link for the service. So we do need to enable the service to make sure it runs on startup. 
and then we need to start it because we're actually going to use it right now so we're going to we're going to let that process here i'm just going to open up my terminal like so so you guys can read um all right so now that we have it uh installed we can say system uh control um sorry system system ctl and we're going to say enable uh resolve um resolve conf dot service sorry yeah dot service and uh, that's going to enable the service so we're now going to say start it and uh, let's check the status now to see if it's loaded and running all right so you can see it's uh, loaded and running excellent so now again if we check our um resolve.conf file you can now see that the dynamic resolve.conf file is uh, generated by resolve.conf that's exactly what we want so you can see the name server still points to 192.168.1.1 which is my gateway so what i want to do now is i want to edit the base uh, file under resolve.conf so that's under resolve uh resolve.conf here and we're looking for resolve.conf.d and we're looking for the base configuration file we will put in our name server so it's a name server uh, 1.1.1.1 which is cloudflare um, server and i'll put in google by the way don't recommend using the google name servers um, and i'm going to say name server and we'll put in the secondary google one the only reason i'm doing this is to demonstrate a point here and I'm going to write and save those changes. So now I'm going to say system uh, control and I'll say restart uh, resolve uh, resolve conf dot service. And I'm also going to restart my network manager just to make sure the changes have been uh, have been logged. So if I display the contents of uh, resolve conf, so resolve dot conf here, you can see that uh, right now uh the primary name server is still pointing to uh, 192.168.1.1 even though we've provided uh, three within the base which is totally fine so to modify this we want to go into vim uh and you can use any other text that is so when we, vim etc network and you want to modify the interfaces uh sorry the interfaces and this is where we can actually manually configure dns name server so we want to go all the way to the bottom here yours might be different depending on your configuration and we want to put in our dns name servers here so you say dns name servers 1.1.1.1 8.8 uh, 8 sorry 8.8.8 and we say 8.8.4.4 and we want to write and save that and again we're going to restart the network manager and we're going to restart the resolve conf service here and now if we check resolve.conf um that should uh point towards those name servers if they still if the if the changes have still not yet been logged let me just reboot the system so sudo reboot f i don't know why i use sudo there um currently using the root user so we'll just wait for this to reboot and we can actually check whether the changes have been set and you can see that they will be logged um or they will be active exactly as we set them uh, even after you reboot your system which is great all right so and then we'll just say cat hc resolve.conf and we hit enter and now you can see um, that they are pointing to the name servers that we set and this is now manually and permanently set again it's not recommended that you do this uh, if you, you do it this way unless you have specific settings or you're connecting to a specific dns uh, dns name server uh, and you know you, you have a custom configuration uh, but that's besides the point i hope this video answers your question uh, there will be a detailed write-up of this video on our main website hackersploit.org so you can follow along there if you have any issues so that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you have any comments suggestions feedback let me know in the comment section on or on my social networks and i'll be seeing you in the next video peace guys